Hey, good morning to you, fellow human being, and out there doing what you have to do to feed your kids, to take care of yourself, to do whatever it takes to make it in this spiritually corrupt world that we are now living in, and what, uh, what really... I'm noticing, and I told this to my boy because we listen to all different types of music, uh, hip hop, metal, blues, reggae, soul, um, whatever. I don't want to sit here and name them all, but I was telling him that all the rappers that have quality beats, lyrical skill, are actually trying to preach at you, trying to teach you something they all believe in God. So, what I'm seeing is that somebody who quests for the truth, who wants to be free spiritually, who wants to be free in their life to not be controlled by outside influence, they have a strong relationship with the Creator. And where that comes from, in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, not hard facts, is it comes from suffering. It comes from experience. It comes from finding things out of dark places, you know? Finding the strength to become a single parent, to deal with all that BS that that comes with that, that like having to do both jobs, having to have a higher standard than, than uh, most people put for themselves. And that uh, to not run away or pawn him off on my parents, to provide him with a stable, structured type of routine where he realizes that he has to earn things and he doesn't just get things on a silver platter. And that, man, it's a spiritual battle, dude, every day. Um, you know, not just expecting, thinking that you're gonna get rich, but not willing to clean the toilet, not willing to bring somebody coffee, not willing to take your lumps, take your licks, and just thinking that you're not going to have to put in work. Dude, everything is work. Everything. So, if you're comfortable and everything's just rosy, you're probably fucking up because you got a harsh awakening coming, dude. Don't, don't expect people to stay in your lives forever. Some people will. Some people will just drop you like a sack of hot potatoes, dude. You know, I'd like to drop the potato. Dude. Bring them prices back down. I'm trying to survive, for God's sake, dude. It's putting a damper in the, in the fun money, dude. But, you know, it's time to get minimalist. Realize that you probably have high standards. I mean, America's the only place where you have fat homeless people, so think about that. Dude, man, if you're a father out there, they're against you, dude. They don't want you to pass masculinity on to, on to your sons. And they don't want your daughter. They don't want to teach your daughters to respect both sexes, not just respect women, respect men too. For God's sake, you know, it takes a man and a woman to make a baby. And I'm sorry to tell you, but only women can get pregnant. So, yeah. You're a bigot just for saying that. <laughs> get out of here with that traditionalism. All right, then. Take care. God bless.